This is question two from paper three two from the June 2020 maths exams from Cambridge International. Up the top right of the screen, you'll find a card that will bring you to a playlist for all my solutions for the questions in this paper. And in the description below the video, you'll find a link to an image of this question so you can try it before looking at my solution. In this question, they give us this equation basically and they ask us to find A and K, the two unknowns there. To help us with that information, they also give us this picture. Now it's important to note in this picture, they give us x-axis and natural log of y. Just to make it clear what that means is, um, I'll pick this number here. x is equal to 1.5 at the same time. Um, not y is equal to 1.2, but natural log of y. Because that's what's in that axis. That's what's been described at this height. So that's an important thing to note as well. There's two ways to do this. Um, I'll Well, there might be more. But one way, I'll just describe it now because I'm not going to do it, is just to put 1.5 in for x. And, well, you can't put 1.2 in for y because that's y and this is natural log y. So you'd have to get y is equal to e to 1.2. I take, put e to both sides. Uh, put both sides to the power of e. E would destroy the natural log and e to the power of 1.2. So you could put that in here, um, multiply this by another 2 or the whole thing by a power of 2. And you'd get an equation with a and k in it. Do the same with these two points. You'd get another equation with a and k. You'd have to cancel them. I'd say divide uh, both sides by a. That'd get uh, just an equation with k in it. And um, you, you solve it. But I'm gonna, the way I'm going to do it is it's a little more pretty. I wouldn't say it's beautiful, but it's a little more pretty. It's noticing that this is a straight line. We understand a lot about straight lines. Y is equal to mx plus c. The problem is I'm not interested in y this time. I'm interested in natural log y. So this would be the equation of a straight line in this world. The y-axis, natural log y in this case, is equal to the slope multiplied by the x-axis plus some constant. So you could actually get this slope here and find out what m is. But that's no good to us because this equation doesn't look like this. But there's one thing I can do to this equation that will make it look like this. And that's the what I think is the pretty thing of this. Maybe Beautiful, I'll go as far as say. And that one thing is it's easy enough to see because we have y and we want natural log y. We have something to the power of x, whereas really I just want x maybe down on its own. So there's one thing that does uh, to this to both sides, and that's if we take the natural log of both sides. Um, if I take the natural log of both sides, it will actually work out to be a lot like a, a line. And they gave us a line, so that's sort of what they want us to do. First of all, the natural log of what, anything squared, basically, this 2 can just come outside. 2 natural log y. So we've already got the natural log of y on its own, really. Just divide everyone by 2, we could. And this now, natural log of anything that multiplies something. So really, we have two terms in here. Two things multiplying. So that's the same as natural log of a plus natural log of e k x. That's good natural logs and e's. We like putting them together because they destroy each other. So let's see. I'll rub this out so we have more room in a moment. Uh, so let's see. Natural log of 2 times natural log of y is equal to... This will destroy itself. Let's uh, change this order here. So we have kx here. And uh, plus natural log of a. Now we're looking a lot like a, an equation for a line. So try and remember that in your head, because I'm going to rub it out now. The only problem is this 2, so that's easy enough to solve. We'll just divide everything by 2. Natural log of y is equal to k divided by 2 times x. I could put the 2 underneath everything, but I'm just trying to make it look more like a line. Uh, plus a half natural log of a. So this is just like a line. We have the y-axis, y-axis is equal to something times the x-axis plus something. So a couple of ways we could do this now, we could find that slope out, because the slope is actually equal to k divided by 2. Um, or how I'm, ju I'm just going to put these numbers in. Uh, I'll just go ahead and put these numbers in, because it's all 
sits quite nicely for me. I could have done that on this line if I'm not gonna find the slope, but still, I'll, I'll do it here. For example, I know 1.2 is equal to natural log y. That's equal to k over two, and x is 1.5 plus uh, half natural log k. That's, um, that's something I know from, the, uh, from just these, this, these two numbers there. I can also put these two numbers in. I get 2.7 is equal to k over two, 5.24 plus one, one half natural log k. I know a lot of students hate these questions because it's just hard to write these decimal places. Really easy to make mistakes. All I'd say is be careful. Be careful with every step you make and practice, practice, practice. Okay, so what do we have here? This is just a simultaneous equation. Don't be too afraid by it. We don't know k and we don't know a, or natural log a would be easier to look at. That, that's it, like we just solve it like we would any simultaneous equation. Good thing actually these are identical. So if we just take them away, uh, just to keep everything positive, I'll take the bottom minus the top. So we get 2.7 minus 1.2. You can put that in the calculator if you want. I, I'll just keep all the numbers the way they are. Is equal to, well that goes with that. And um, this one minus this, these are the same thing here. So it's just 5.24 minus 1.5 multiplied by k over two. Let's just rearrange all this. Uh, let's see, divide this bracket over here. So we get 2.7 minus 1.2 divided by 5.24 minus 1.5. I know a lot, lots of people would have just put this in a calculator by now, which is fine, but I just find it's easier this way. Uh, so I divided by this bracket and I'll multiply by this two. So let's put all that in a bracket and we multiply by two. And that's equal to K. I, I like to just use my calculator once, and I'll go ahead and use my calculator now, or I already did. So I'll go ahead and cheat, squint my eyes and see the answer. Um, three significant figures. <coughs> I'm sorry, yeah, two decimal places. My apologies. So it's 0 0.8, and then um, it's actually 0 something or something like that. So it's actually only one decimal place. Lots of students like to put in the 0, because they tell you two decimal places, so... Still, you can get 100% of the marks for just 0 0.8. Don't worry about that, if, it, if the next one's a zero. All right, so that's K, and to find um, A, you just use any of the equations that you want. Uh, this one here, I'd suggest. Or, um, well, yeah, it'd be hard to use that. I'd suggest one of these up here. So, <clears throat> to have another look at this, uh, oh, sorry, one of these two here. Let's use this one here. We get 1.2 is equal to and I go ahead and use my calculator here. I put in answer. That way I have this exact number, but still, it's, uh, you'll, it'll work out fine uh, because we're not doing anything too complicated as 0 0.8. As 0 0.8 divided by two, multiplied by 1.5 um, plus a, a half natural log A. I'll do this quickly. Uh, we're all used to how to do algebra at this stage. I get natural log A on its own, and that is equal to, let's see, it's 1.2 here. I'd have to take this one away, minus 0 0.8 over two times 1.5, and I'd like to multiply everything by two. That would work out for me. I can put that in a calculator in a moment. So that means A is equal to, uh, well, this whole thing, what was it, times two. I'll write it all in, 1.2 minus 0 0.8 over 2 multiplied by 1.5 all e to the power of all that and again I'd go ahead and put down the calculator now I like to use calculators just once and I would get 3 point <coughs> pardon me my voice gone I would get 3.31 a pretty messy question not my favorite putting all these uh, decimal numbers in I'm much rather dealing with letters unfortunately but I guess some students would like that like I said there was a equally long way to do it from the start um, by just uh, finding out what y was equal. Um, instead of, it's not 1.2, lots of students just put that in, and find out what y is equal and fill the numbers into this equation and solve that simultaneous equation. But it's not much different than solving this one. If you have any follow-up questions on that, uh, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, have a great day.